Hey guys, Anish here and welcome to Code Pizza. So this is my first video and I'll tell you about the channel. So this channel is going to be about all things tech. We'll be doing some interesting projects. I'll be showing you some larger projects of my own and there might be some Blender stuff as well. So let's get into today's video. What we'll be creating today? We'll be creating the famous matrix effect from the movie The Matrix. And what does it give you? It gives you the classic look of a hacker. And Without further ado, let's get into today's video. So what do we aim to create? We basically aim to create a stream of ones and zeros going down the screen. And we might add some hexadecimal digits as well. So why do we make it? It just looks cool. So we'll be creating a Python version as well as a Java version. Stick till the end to know which one's gonna be better. So let's get coding. I decided to create a simple console application and for that Python was the way to go. I started by printing rows of characters on the screen at a time, then added a list of possible characters to print which were 0 and 1. Uh, when that wasn't enough, I added all the hexadecimal digits. The problem now was the entire screen wasn't covered. So I did a quick Google search and found a way to get the screen width. Now the entire screen was covered, but it was still the default white color. So I spent some more time on the internet to find a way to get colors on the terminal. A few moments later and voila now we had green color so now I had to add some blank spaces in between because it was way too crowded so I added black in the list of possible colors and now there were gaps instead of creating smart reusable code I decided to just add multiple instances of black color to make it appear more often now the next problem was it was way too fast so I added some time delay after each line to slow it down the final result was a matrix of numbers moving up. Yeah, it's cool. But we need something better. So I decided to go with processing as it allows us to create really nice graphics with minimal coding. The problem with the Python version was that the characters were moving up but we needed them to move down. So in processing, I created a basic system to create a bunch of balls that move downwards when summoned. Then I made them randomly pop somewhere above the screen and then they started moving downwards. I played around with the speed a little bit till I got it just right. But now we don't need balls falling down, we need digits falling down. That's what the matrix is. Then I replaced the balls with zeros raining down. Cool, right? After that, it was all about adding the classic green color, make it full screen and add more digits that should appear on the screen. The hexadecimal digits. After all this, it was pretty close to the actual movie scene, I guess. But something was missing. The trails. We need to add the trails behind the characters. After a little more tweaking around, I created the trails. The trails. It was then time to add some better colors and snapping the characters so that they don't overlap. But snapping along both axes wasn't such a good idea. So I added some variable speed, only snapped along the horizontal, improved the trails so that their length depends on the speed and added a time dependent variable so that the speed wasn't depending on the frame rate and the result was... It's pretty amazing and even soothing to the eye and much better than the python version. The link to the code is down in the video description so that you can check it out. If you like the video, please hit that like button. Please subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell to make sure that you don't miss any future content. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.